that most of these automakers are on the right path and uh, they're likely to do well uh, as far as the volumes, market share, all these industry parameters are concerned. What gives you that confidence at a time when, uh, you know, China is doubling down on, on its efforts to support uh, the electric vehicle industry there and Tesla might be struggling right now, but there's a lot going on when it comes to the uh, traditional automakers globally. Uh, so How will J Japanese automakers stand out? So electrification uh, comes with its own set of challenges and its own set of uh, customer acceptance, uh, which will move gradually. It will not, uh, it is not likely to be a step jump because it's an infrastructure play. You need to have uh, infrastructure in place. You need to have batteries in place. You need to have charging the energy stations. policies in place. Yes, mm. charging in place. Uh, consumers have to change their habits of using the car. So it is going to be a linear change. Mm. And while doing this linear change, what is happening is there is a lot of awareness about uh, 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 you know, the tailpipe emission that is coming out of the car and that is indirectly benefiting hybrid, which actually reduces the tailpipe emission, although it, it has an engine, but it also has a battery and uh, a significant saving in tailpipe emissions to the extent of 10 to 30 percent depending on where and how you drive. And that uh, probably is uh, a much more practical technology which the Japanese have. And that is the rub of benefit that they are likely to get because of electrification. What about India? How much is India adding? Because when it comes to EV adoption, I don't know whether India is at the same pace as the rest of the world. I don't think that's the case. India is uh, lagging. Uh, when it comes to EV adoption, but it's a key market for Japanese automakers, Honda, Nissan, True, Suzuki. But as far as the electrification is concerned, uh, the lead is taken by the Indian manufacturers like Tata and Mahindra, and uh, then followed by Hyundai. So uh, as far as electrification of Japanese automakers in India is concerned, uh, they are just EV resorting to hybrid rather than the battery electric vehicles. So Japanese EVs, their new products will not find takers in India, you think? Uh, they haven't really focused on it. I think they first want to conquer the US markets where they are lagging behind. They want to conquer Europe markets, which is where they are lagging behind Chinese markets. So uh, India is not up there in the picking order because it is not a large enough electrification market uh, for Japanese and in the whole. But can be. Uh, Yes, I think India has their own set of challenges. As you know, electri India tends to be an electricity deficient state. Mm -hmm. uh, the electri electricity distribution is still catching up. Yeah. The demand is far higher than the supply. So the and question it's a coal -based is... coal-based power generation system. Yes, so that's also slowly changing. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question is, if you are uh, not able to have surplus electricity, would you rather supply the electricity to your industry or would you charge a car? Households, yeah.